The top three companies that are working on generative video AI all released some major updates and it's a huge leap for AI video generation. So let me go through the list with you. I'll show you some examples. I'll show you the ones that are available to use right now. But first on the list is from Stability AI. Now, Stability AI is the company behind Stable Diffusion. So Stable Diffusion is the most popular open source AI technology that generates images from text. And it powers some of the top AI apps for text to image like Leonardo AI, Dream Studio, ClipDrop. Those are all powered by Stable Diffusion. And this is a big deal because this technology is open source. It's from Stable Diffusion and Stability AI. So now a lot of people could create apps with the power of generative video AI. So Leonardo, for example, is one of the biggest companies out there. Right now it's getting 15 million views a month on their website last time I checked. And that is powered by the latest version of stable diffusion models. So now imagine what's gonna happen in the whole world of video AI now that Stability AI has introduced stable video. And right now, if you go to stabilityai.com, you could join the app waitlist. So if you click here, it's just gonna give you this form here to fill out. So fill out this form, pretty straightforward. And for more technical people, they do actually have this for testing right now and you could download the weights. Again, far more too complex for what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna wait for the app to make an updated video, but if you come to this Hugging Face page, it does have a link to GitHub, and then you could download it here as well. And here, it also shows you that release. So it says we're releasing stable video diffusion and image to video model for research purposes right now. So this is some examples they have on their page. Now, before we get to the second one, let me also show you Stability AI also released something called Turbo. So this is SDXL Turbo. This is Stable Diffusion Turbo. Let me show you, it's available to test out. You could do this right now. So there's a website called clipdrop.co. This clipdrop is one of the biggest apps in the world of text to image and AI image editing. But look at this option right now. This is almost real-time text-to-image generation, and a lot of this technology obviously is built into the video too. Let me show you what it does. I'm gonna type in a cat, and let's see, just in one second you made a cat. Running, I'm gonna type in running, and look at that, in almost real-time. In water, okay, one more second in water. With a dog, let's see if it adds a dog. Look at that. Now, it's not quite good, right? Some of those were not as good as the first option I had, but this is just incredible. This is almost happening in real time. I'm just blown away. I've just been testing it for only less than an hour, and it's really incredible how fast it's working. It's still not good, though. So some of my images are not as good as the first generation when I'm doing these live updates, but give it a try. This is inside of clipdrop.co. Now, the second big company that introduced something really interesting in the world of AI video is Runway. So Runway is still the leading text-to-video platform. They have a tool called Gen2 that is absolutely mind-blowing, still, I think, is the best in the game. And Runway, inside of Gen2, has a new option called Motion Brush that I wanted to show you in this video. It's available to use right now for anybody. And again, why this is a big deal is Runway right now is valued at $1.5 billion. They're not going anywhere. So as soon as they perfect this, this is gonna make a huge change in how we generate and even create videos moving on in the next couple of years. So inside of Runway, if you go to this image tab, you need to upload a file. So I created some images from Midjourney I'm gonna upload, but you could also generate from text. But this motion brush, basically brings still images to life. And that's what I wanna show you here. So when you upload an image right here, motion brush, click on that, and I'm gonna click anywhere to edit. So you get this brush icon here and you could brush part of your image that you wanna to bring to life. So let's say this cape right here, I wanna give that cape some motion and maybe I wanna give this flag some motion. So that's all I'm going to paint, just like that. And let me just make sure I do a good job here. And then on the bottom you have some settings and you could go ahead and change basically the motion. So this is gonna move horizontally left to right so you could change the speed basically. These are all different speed settings. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and press save here and I'm gonna go ahead and generate from here. Again, this generates pretty quickly. This generates four second videos, but this motion brush now gives you so much control. It's not just giving it an image or giving it some text prompt and creating a motion video with it. This lets you change just part of an image and turn it into motion. And let me go ahead and show you this in full screen and let me press play. Look at that. Now it looks like I accidentally brushed part of the face here, which caused this kind of issue, but you get the idea here. It's not quite there yet. So you're going to have to try it multiple times, but how cool is it just to move part of an image and bring that to life? And probably the most exciting update in this world is from Pika Labs. So you could access Pika at pika.art. And right now I just joined the wait list but they rolled out something called Pika 1.0 and it's gonna take place right on this website once you get in. But if you look at their demo reel, just from everything else I've seen in the world of generative video AI, this is absolutely stunning. And the fact that you could actually do things like you could do with Photoshop with an image right inside of Pika, basically live edits something that's part of a video. And here's an announcement. We're excited to introduce Pika 1.0. This is inside of Discord where Pika always was. So it was available for free. It still is available for free. So if you want to use it, you could jump in and basically follow them on Discord, join their Discord here, and then you could go ahead and generate images. So they have these things called generate one, two, three, and then you could see what people are generating here and you could generate your own. But what's going to happen now with this new Pika, if I go to their announcements, they are going to roll this out outside of Discord as well. So the web version is going to have the first version of Pika 1.0. I've been using it for about a month now inside of Discord, and it's pretty good, especially with bringing images to life. It wasn't great at turning text into video, but if I turn images into video, it did a really great job. And now with Pika 1.1, this is going to be outside of Discord on a website, which a lot of people like a lot more, it seems. They don't have to come into Discord to use this. And it's going to be a much better model. So this could be a complete game changer. As you see on the demo reel, the results are really, really stunning. Now, the only other one missing from the party is Kyber AI. That's one of my favorite text to video generation platforms. But as you could see, these three updates from these three other leading AI platforms that are working on video, this is gonna be a complete game changer. My background's in filmmaking, so I'm really excited to see where this could take my creativity and then also use it for any type of commercial work and promotional work as well once it gets a little bit better. Now, once I get into some of these betas, I'll make a more deeper dive video with some tutorials. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.